Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Colony Survival. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. It's been out for a little while and continue to expand out. So I couldn't get the work done over there. It was just like, ah. I ran into production issues, so the tower shall remain unfinished for right now. But the reason I'm coming back at you with a new episode is because we've got a new update that's added berry farmers to the game, which is very interesting. And so I'm figuring with the addition of berry farmers, uh, we also can't produce bread anymore, by the way. So that's going to be something we need to be concerned about. Uh, we need to go in and actively... Uh, in our inventory here. There's a thing called a grinder now. Yep, that's right. We got to get a grinder. That's the only way that we can survive. We need stone bricks in order for that to work. And in fact, I think I used up all my stone bricks when I was working on the tower. And so I'm going to go down. Let's grab some bricks. And once we've got a couple of stone bricks, I think it should be reasonably quick to get a grinder up and running so that our food production doesn't stall and fall apart. Because as of right now, that's going to be one of our biggest concerns. It's going to be a thing that we really kind of want to look into. Our our colony is not patch ready. That's just the truth of it. We also need to start thinking about new building projects. Like, things that I'm interested in is I actually kind of want to build a cathedral, kind of like a big hospital building almost. It'll mostly just have beds inside it because, but let's be frank, there's not a whole lot of stuff inside the game right now to play around with. But we're going to get some berry farmers set up today, and then I think I'm also I'm going to try and get the brickwork together so that we can come up with some kind of, like, church cathedral thing. So let's go back up to the surface, uh, see what we got going on with this grindstone. We're obviously going to have to file. I think we're going to have to hire another colonist to get that done as well. But, you know, that's easy piece. Easy lemon squeezy. It shouldn't be any difficulty at all. Okay, so over here, uh, I'm going to go in and we are going to make ourselves a grindstone. So it's grinding wheat into flour. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, we'll throw some of these stone bricks up in here. Right now we're sitting on a good food supply. So we do have a little bit of elasticity in order to get ourselves started. Uh, with the grindstone, we can pretty much put that wherever. I would prefer that it be nearby to a stockpile, though, so that they can just walk instantly in between the two. And so we don't have any colonists right there. So that means what I'm going to do is I think we will... No, I don't need a wheat farmer. Instead, what I need is... Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's play recruit a colonist here. We'll get a couple of extra colonists. So we got... got I didn't have, ever actually think we would get up to 23 colonists in this playthrough. Like, legitimately, we have actually come up with a ton of colonists. And that's just absolutely fantastic. It's one of those things that I'm truly very excited about. I'm going to chop up some wood right here. And we're going to do a little bit of construction, I think. Dude, we have so much straw. Holy bejeebus. Uh, he does not have any wheat seeds that he's... Oh, all my farmers have no wheat seeds. That's not a good thing. That's a really bad thing. Where did all my wheat seeds go? Did they disappear with the patch or whatever? Ooh, problematic. Let me see if I can fix that. Let me see if I can fix that. These guys over here have wheat seeds, though. Me thinky. Yeah, these guys have wheat seeds over here in these new little farms. And so we should be able to get that back up and running in just a moment. I'm going to help out with it, though. I think it was the new fields out here that did it. You'll recall in the previous episode we made like a bunch of new fields or whatever. I think that's what got us into trouble. I'm going to throw the wheat in there and then I'm going to throw like the 70 seeds in there and absolutely you can see them already going to work trying to get it done. Fantastic little villagers. Fantastic. The other part that I'm acutely interested in because it's just so much for it's more fun to be acutely interested in things is we're going to make a little retaining wall that runs over to this area and that's going to expand out our area of influence for a little while. So I'm going to need some bricks. I'm going to need some wood and then let's get this thing done. Let's put in a nice little oh apparently I put in a tower right there and then I just forgot that I done did it. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I need to lay these down like so. I'm not going to go out too far, but I would. Oh, man, there's going to be bushes in the way. Damn you, bushes. Away with you. It's cool. I actually cut the grass back a little bit further than I needed to, but I needed to get that out of the way so that we could do a little bit of constructing in here because how can I make my cool little hospital cathedral, Madubi, until I get my wall all nice and closed? Got to make sure there's no zombies, like, storming into my shit right now. I, I prefer my shit to be remarkably unfilled with zombies. That would be my favorite, is if there was no, like, zombie shit. So let's bring this back over to here. I'm gonna keep on dragging, and then I'll show you when this is all done. Coming up on the conclusion of the wall. Getting a little bit closer, but as you can see, I'm following the same template that I always do. That's what I tend to try to do when I build areas. So if they have, like, a unified design theme, I used to do it in Minecraft, I try to do it here. So that the walls always kind of look the same all across the entire area. 
and they always have kind of the same motif or design. I find it makes it more aesthetically pleasing to look at. We will be adding the walkway and everything else to this as well as we get it spent back around. I'll probably actually spend a little bit of time putting in some kind of... Do I have any more stone in here? Thank you, sir. That's all that I needed. That is... I don't know why my inventory menu is a sir. I just decided spontaneously that my inventory menu was going to be a sir. And so there's our wall right there. No, oh, I haven't made it connect on the opposite side just yet. But that's because largely I'm going to need a little bit more stone, I think, to make this work. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit odd. So I can put that in right there. That does leave a tiny gap that could be exploited by the undead hordes to come after us. Undead hordes, why are you so exploitative? Why are you so exploitative? Why you want to hurt me like that, undead hordes? There we go. That'll work. And actually, we had enough materials to do it. I am, frankly, quite surprised about the fact that we had enough materials to make, like, another little area of our base that's going to work out perfectly fine. So let's have a look at our handiwork over here and see what's going on. So we got, like, a new wall connecting over here. We've got our nice little gatehouse going on out. Archers are taking care of all the threats to our little commonwealth. I think they should be able to put shots on any zombies that try to come along and really mess with the thing we've got happening for right now. Uh, there's only one little tree back up in here. I don't know precisely how I want to orchestrate all of this, but I'm going to show you the new berry farms. Let me show you the new berry farms real fast. So in our command menu, I don't want to recruit a, I don't want to recruit anybody right now. Instead, I'm going to make the new berry farmer, which is going to be back here behind the wizard's tower. Uh, so I would like a berry farmer, and then we're going to take this, and that is actively too large. How large can a berry farm be? So apparently berry farms can be elongate, 7x6, but they can't be any larger. That's fine by me. I've got two people that are ready to be berry farmers. So we've got our 7x6 plots. There we go. And we'll just presume, like in the imagination of the mind, in the theater of the mind, we will assume that these guys right here are growing berries for something that the guy up in the wizard tower with no roof is doing. And in fact, maybe we'll leave the roof off the wizard tower for right now because he needs to harness lightning in order to do that thing. I'm only making this up because it makes me feel better about the fact that I have not concluded this building yet. I really feel like I probably should have got this done, but the engineering eluded me. I, w I wasn't smart enough, Nerdcastle. I wasn't smart enough. Oh, Jesus, this is going to hurt. So we've got guys down there. Oh, the berry farmers have little red shirts. Sweet. All right, so this is what I wanted right now. I do not want the command tool. I want this weird tower of wood to just, like, go away. I don't know why we're stacking a wood pile over here, but it's got to go. It's got to go. All right, and so with that, it's nighttime. I think I'm going to go back out. I'm going to harvest up some more stone uh, so that, oh, yeah, look at you guys over here. Does it require, like, tree saplings, or, like, how does this work? I've got 91 saplings inside of my inventory. Why are you guys failing so colossally right now? Do you need access to a crate, maybe? Let me see if they need access to a crate. And then if I give them access to, like, a crate pile over here, maybe they'll be able to make it happen. Hmm. Weird. I wonder if I gotta find... Maybe there's, like, berry sprouts somewhere. Like, I gotta go through bushes or something uh, to find berry sprouts. I'll give that a look, too, tonight. It's morning again. Farmed out some materials all night so that we could hang out and do a little bit more building here today. Unfortunately... Are you guys, like, actively doing anything over here? So what's up with you guys? How come how come you're not able to make this, like, happen, Captain? What's going on? How can I assist you in being a better berry farmer? Like, how can I make this work? How can, how can I help you guys help yourselves? You feel me? That's what I want to do right now. That's all that I've ever wanted to do is help you help yourselves. You're saying you don't have saplings. Pretty sure you do. Spent the evening working on the tower, since I wasn't really sure how to do the berry farming stuff, but it turns out we need a shop in order to get the berry farming stuff really off the ground. Uh, I've been continuing to work on this over here. I'm thinking the outside is slightly messed up in certain spots, and so it's difficult to work on the inside and the outside of an object at the same time if you don't have, like, a blueprint in your head. And so as you can see, it kind of went sideways on me. I, I think if I just drag those blocks in right there and take care of that, It'll look okay on that side, and then obviously I need to keep the ribbing going up the side right there as well. It would look a lot better if there was like a triangle piece that I could use, but there ain't not a triangle piece, and so don't worry about it. It's not going to be something that's even remotely going to matter. Roofing this thing was always going to be a problem in my opinion. In fact, it looks like it's slightly offset on one side. 
And so I'm going to have to figure that out before it goes any further. But frankly, it's not a project that I'm in, I'm super concerned about finishing at the moment just because it's going to take so much wheeling and dealing and so much fiddling. Instead, we're going to start off with something new over here. Uh, the berry farmer apparently comes from the... I think it comes from the cash shop. I think is what other tubers have been telling me. Other tubers. Uh, we've got this over here. Seems about right. I want it to have a little bit of width and girth to it, so we'll bring it off to this side as well. Might have drawn back a little quickly. But our people need like a religion to follow. Preferably a religion that's somehow tied to the state. Uh, that would be the way that I would say this is probably going to work the best. Is if we could just, if you could tie the religion to the state, I feel like it'll be okay. And I'm actually going to go three from a side here. And then we're going to cross over so that it gives it a much more rounded appearance once you see it from the outside. Oh no. I've destroyed the grasses. Grasses, go back where you are. Little off the top, he said to the grass, but the grass just wouldn't listen. I think I'll probably drag this back like one further from here. I want it to look more round than it is right now. I want it to have kind of like a little collected area over here where like the altar or whatever it is is going to be at. And so there we go. That don't look too bad. I think that's going to work for right now. Uh, front end of the building is going to be... Oh, I don't know. We'll probably do like a... So let's say that I bring this out here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll give it kind of like a little... An undulating surface on the front that'll kind of break apart the monotony. Although I actually I think going out a little bit further is going to work better. Yeah. So if I bring it out like so, there we go. I just want there to be like a little knobbly on the front of it so that it's not all like super straight. And so I think I went out by two. Yes, indeed I did. Went diagonal. And then I went two a front of that. And then one back in like so. And so there it is. Uh, the side walls. How I want to mess with the side walls, I'll probably add just a little pucker over here. Give this place a pucker, pucker, pucker. There we go. And so we'll go out by like three will be all right. I think that'll look too far out if I do it like that. Basically, I just want to break up the monotony of the building so that it's got some kind of little bump in the side. It's a little odd, but until I take a look at it once the walls have actively been built, I think it's going to be a hard thing to eyeball. So, I need more planks in order to get this done. Actually, we'll just go with the straight wood, I think. Oh, that's dirt. Never mind. Forget you, dirt. I don't want you. I want temperate log. I want some temperate log up in here. That's the only way that this is going to look. Diggity dope. All right, so we'll put that right there, and we are going to follow the template from the previous part of the location. So that's got us right there. The in-between parts are going to be stone. Uh, probably just make that part wood, too. Probably just make that part wood. These two will be stone. These two will be wood right here. And I think this is going to look great once we get it moving. I just need a place to put more beds. And until I get a place to put more beds, it's going to be a challenge, methinks. Perfecto. And then for this side, I think we're only going to have support columns right here. I think everything else is going to be a little bit woody. Otherwise, that's going to be too many support columns, and I think it's going to start looking a little bit like doo-doo butter. You know what I mean? I think it's not going to look good. Uh, I think this building's a little bit sketchy right now anyways, as are many of the projects I start out with when I try to do these things. But as we put it together, I think we shart We should. I almost said I think I sharted. I didn't just shart, I swear. That isn't a part of this episode. You don't get that as a bonus. I have 138 stone right there. Probably not enough to complete that. I go through stone really rapidly in this game, like for realsies. I don't think it's going to be enough to finish the project. Nope. But I do think that it will be enough for us to at least get the rough idea together on how we want to do this. Yeah, I think that works. I think that as I'm looking at it, we're going to take that up to probably about that height right there. And let me bring back some wood on this side. Little bit of Davuda. There we go. Get this stacked up and looking a little bit sexy. I don't know how tall I want this building to be. 
tall enough to where it, res you know, makes them cast their eyes towards the great lord who supports me as king, by the way. Uh, yes, it might make you cast your gaze towards the lord, sure. Why not? But, at the same time, when you cast your gaze towards the Lord, understand, he's only looking down here because you have such a benevolent, wonderful, ordained by God king. That's all that I'm saying, is that he put me here, so if you go against me, you go against him. That's all that I'm saying. I'm not trying to be a hard ass about this, I'm just saying, I'm in charge, me in chargey, you know in chargey. That's all I'm saying, peasants. Alright, so we've got that right there, we'll go log temperate, and at some point I'm going to have to get a store up and built so we can buy those berry farm things because I guarantee you I'm going to name this episode the berry farm update and then there's not going to be any berry farms and I'm just going to look like a massive douche, I'm going to look like an idiot, and I'm going to be like, no, I don't want to look like an idiot, not today, not ever. I wonder if my wood choppers are actually like chopping wood and doing that. Fine, I will jump down if you're going to make me. If you're going to make me jump down. So let me see what this looks like. Actually, that came together quite a bit better than I expected. That came together about right. I'm glad I was able to eyeball that from the ground up because I always feel like I make poor design decisions in the middle of a series. And then I've got to figure out where in the hell I went wrong. And this time around, I'm actually... Yeah, that works. I like it. I think that worked out pretty well. Let me fill out the rest of the walls. And then, uh, ow, I've given myself a boo-boo. No. The king can't have boo-boos. How are my minions supposed to respect me if I have boo-boos? So more wood has been obtained. I know I can mod it in, but it just feels, I don't know, weird to me. I like to do stuff like that. I don't know. I'll probably drag this out ever so slightly from this corner so that we got a little alcove for torches right here. And then the goal is to get this to be kind of, hmm, the two-space gap might not be, oh no, the two-space gap, it looks all right, I think it'll work. Uh, we'll take this up right here, there we go. And now that that's been taken up, that looks good to me. Uh, I am going to have to knock out one of these, though. Mama said knock you out, wood wall. I'm actually going to have to knock out one of these because we need to give the reinforced stone look right here. And that necessitates that we do something like this. And so there it is. And this is actually going to come up into like an archway up above. And then we'll drag that back. It's probably going to look turdish and terrible. But I can't control that. This is this is an inherent design flaw come from Splattercat's mind. Like, every time I do something like this, it turns out turdish and terrible. So, ugh. I'm gonna keep falling off shit, man. Tripping and falling. The king's greatest enemy. I tell you what. It's a hard job. But somebody gotta do it. Falling off shit all the time. Yup. Because that's how the king do. Ow. I fell off a thing again. It's okay. We're gonna survive this going to survive this, and it's going to be all better. I don't suppose I have more bricks in here somewhere. I do. Yay! Okay. So with that right there going on up, uh, we want to have kind of a gate right there. And this is actually going to be kind of a doo-doo butter arch. It's not going to look very good because it's not wide enough is the main issue with it. But... Is there, like, a thing missing over here? Oh, there is. Son of a bitch. Alright, this is... Luckily, it's an easy fix. Luckily, it's an easy fix. There we go. It'll just have, like, a faux wall right there. There's a bunch of, like, in the old part of the town where I live, there's a bunch of things that are, like, faux walls and stuff like that. Like, they're basically facades to make the place look a little bit better. But actually, it's pretty trashy and terrible. These guys are over here making iron, doing their thing. Uh, does anybody want to live in the storehouse? Anybody? You can live in the storehouse. I'm not really against it. Like, if you want to live in the storehouse, there we go. Some people can live out here in the shed. Like a bunch of there. That's what they get. You get to live in the shed. When you displease the king, you become a shed liver. A shed liver. Uh, how do I make uh, a shop? Like, let's say that I want to make, like, a, a shop. A shippity shop. What's a shippity shop? It's going to cost me five coins. Okay, well, if I need five coins, then I'm probably going to need, like, a mint, right? I'm going to need a mint so that I can get... I've got iron ingots right now. I have planks, and I need gold. I don't think I have... No, I have planks. Okay. So I have planks. 
I have... Where is it? Where'd you go? There it is. And a gold ingot. I have gold ingots. I have these. Yes, I have produced these. Do I have to tell other people to make it, maybe? Let me see over here. Let me see what's going on. This dude's using the grindstone to grind it on up. On this side, if I wanted to make, like, a mint... Ah, there it is. Make me a mint, please. Can you do that for me? Yeah, go grab the things you need. Craft for me a mint so that I can start producing my own gold coins. So that someday, I might overthrow the king once I have enough of them. There's our first mint. We will take that right there. And now that we has the mint, uh, can I do anything with this? I can just make gold coins out of the ingots that I have. Hooray! There he goes. He's minting gold coins. Huzzah! All of my coins come with a minty fresh flavor so that if you end up sticking them in your mouth, it's not as unpleasant as, say, using something, oh, I don't know, disgusting like copper. I've also spawned three unemployed colonists because guess what, you guys? You get to be miners! Yay! I mean, I know you're fully grown, but you're also going to be miners. It's going to be kind of a weird thing for you. So gather those pencil books up. Gather them up because I need a gold miner. A gold miner! Nope. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Not what I wanted at all. I would like a miner to be right here. And if I am correct, this is gold, right? It looks like it takes a while to mine, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. Given the exorbitantly long amount of time it takes for me to mine this, it's definitely gold ore. But we're going to take this time to try and get a few more miners. And I've got more than enough iron, so I'm not really going to worry about that. In fact, they're smelting about as fast as it can be smelted. So I'm going to go in on some gold so that I can get some coins together, and I think this is going to be pretty rad. Oh, he's making more mints. Damn it. Stop making mints, fool. Why are you making some? Mm, I left it on one. That's what I did wrong. I left it on one, and that's now why we have too many mints. <sighs> It's okay, I just won't place the second one and everything will turn out alright. I gotta get berry seeds. If I don't get berry seeds and show you a berry farm before the end of the episode, I'm gonna feel like a lying douchebag. And I don't like being a lying douchebag! I've got our shop being made right now. I think this is gonna be pretty swell. So there goes the shop into the stockpile. We'll drop this on down. And I don't know. Where do we want our shop? Up a beep, 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 keep to be. We'll put him right here. And so we don't have any unemployed colonists, but I have a plan for that. We are going to add a few more beds. We're going to make this into mega bedroom down here in the bottom. Like, we're going to convert each side of the room into just, like, one massive bed. And it's going to be incredible. Mega bed. Everybody loves mega bed. What's not to love about mega bed? That requires uh, plankies. Well, I have stuff for plankies, I think. Yes, I have stuff for plankies. So let's put plankies in my inventory, and then we will make... Beds. There it is. We've made loads and loads of mega bed. Everyone sleeps in the same spot in their underwear for my kingly pleasure. You've no choice. You must sleep like this. I demand it of you. It is your great and sovereign duty. So I need more straw, but I had straw. Oh, there it is. Yay, straw. Two more beds. Mega bedroom. There it is. So now we have 40 beds and not enough colonists, but I can fix that. We'll go... I mean, we produce more than enough food, so I'm just going to get a whole bunch of colonists. And hopefully food continues to be forthcoming. Uh, if it do, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to craft their... Oh, there they go. The March. The March of my people. The Ma also the April of my people, and the May of my people, because I don't plan on going anywhere. That's right, everybody off to bed, into your skivvies, so that the king may observe. That's right, sleep like sandwiches. Colorful sandwiches all alongside each other. Sleep. Sleep. I seem to have inadvertently triggered some kind of, like, a catastrophic event with our food. And so what I need to do right now is that right there. No, with the grind limit, let's not worry about that. I do want the store taken down to zero, though. I don't want them wasting my coins on other things. And there it is. Everyone comes out to another glorious day in the fields of Vala. Oh, he can make, like, bricks, too? Ooh, I didn't know he can make bricks. So this guy needs to make some bread over here, and I think he might actually need a homie as well. So I'm going to get another oven right now. And sooner or later, I will put all this stuff where it's supposed to go so that it's not all crowded out in the front. Like, we're going to make, like, a workshop area where all this stuff is going to go later on. But for right now, oh, man, we've got, like, an influx of people right now. We better get some food together. 
It's about to be a rough day if we don't get some foods that we can eat. Uh. Uh, you gotta put the soulful uh at the end. It's gotta have a little bit of sexuality in there. Because that's the only way that the song sells, man. It's the only way that the song sells. As far as our cathedral goes, I think if we go out on the front like so... I don't know that this is going to look good, okay? This is just what I'm playing around with. This is just what I'm playing around with, hombre. Then I actually think what I can do is if I go out by one, I can make this look good. I think. But I'm going to have to go out by one. Otherwise, it taint going to work. I didn't want to talk about taints in this episode, but you know what? Sometimes the subject comes up. And so, if it... No. Bad brick. Wrong spot. Ugh, you're gonna make me jump over here and be all laborious and ish. Alright, and that's how it's gonna be. And so, here is our... Arch. Such as it stands. It's probably gonna be a little bit too round because I didn't take the time to fully, like, form it on out. Oh, shit. And it's offset to one side, too. Damn it! Actually, that might work out. I think it might be okay. I just gotta figure out a way. I am terrible at building. That's what you should be learning right now, is I can do like basic square-like structures, but if you give me anything like important or challenging, I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah, that's gonna have to work for right now. And then the general goal is just gonna be that we go across like so. I don't think I can actually place a block from right there. Wish that I could, but I can't. But I will, so I won't. There we go. And I'm going to buy some berry bushes in just a minute because I won't be called a liar on the internet. I won't have it. I won't have it. Please let me, please let me place that brick. I would love to place that brick. There we go. And if I can appropriately put this backwards, we should be in an okay marketable position. Like, it's going to get a little weird with all this. But I think it's going to work out because we're going to put in like columns and stuff. It's going to be so hyped. It's going to be so hyped. This might look weird, by the way. I don't know. Sometimes finished projects have that tendency to look a tad odd for me. But we'll fill in something here to make this all copacetic. There's your word for the day, kids. Copacetic. It has a C in it in a weird spot. That's how you know it's a fancy word. We're like, ah, let's just tack on some extra fucking letters. It doesn't matter. Throw a bunch of letters in. Nobody's ever going to challenge us on it. I'm like, damn you, Webster. You and your you and your words with extra letters and ish inside of them. How could you do this to me? All I want to do is pass my spelling class. And you got to mess with my life like this. You got to mess with my life. I guess better my better my life than my wife, I guess. Actually, we'll do some kind of like... Yeah, we'll put wood inside of there, I think. Everything's better when you put wood inside of it, giggity. Alright, so we'll go... Like that right there. And this back side of the building is actually just going to be flat. Like, it should be fine. I, I don't know how this is all going to look, but my hope was that it would look super freaking awesome. And I'll try and fill these in while I go, too. But we probably have gold coins, which have been effectively deployed now. There we go. Catch myself so I don't break my leg and get any boo-boos, because people can't know that the king has weaknesses. If they see the king bleed, it's all over for the king. That's what revolutionary shit has taught me. Uh, this guy over here... So what does this do? Oh, no. Please don't buy flax seeds. I want berry seeds. Aw, oh, bro. Now you're going to make me wait another couple days. Bastardo. You just used up all my coins on that, didn't you? Oh, I know you did. I know you done did it. Well, now i got to make another furnacey thing. Because people aren't keeping up with that work. People definitely fitting to get fired right now. People fitting to get fired hard. But I suppose in the next episode, we'll take a look and see if we can get that berry farm up and running. Not going to call it a berry farm episode, but our cathedral thingy is almost done. It looks a little, a little special, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes things look 
a little special. I think adding like another column right here might actively save it. I don't know. It might help, but it's still... I just don't... I don't see it. I don't see it in my head, Noodle. I don't see it right now. Hmm. I think it kind of works, but... I don't know if I'm a fan as of right now. If it's going to work, I think it's going to need another support pillar like right here. Just for a little bit of moral support. There we go. If I get like another support pillar right there. Eh, it's still looking a little funny though on the front end. Still looking a little funny though. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. Well, and that means that this guy right here... How did that happen? There we go. Is that what it's supposed to look like right there? No, it has the one bit of wood right there, interestingly enough. All right, so we'll do that. I'm going to have to fiddle with this a little bit if I really want to make it look good. Maybe we could put, like, an indentation. It might make it look a little bit better if we have, like, some three-dimensionality to it. Like I said, I don't think that I'm a uh, designer. That's what I've learned from playing this game is that my uh, Minecraft skills have gotten kind of a little bit. They could be better, I guess is the point that I'm getting at right now. They could be better. I thought I was doing good with the tower. I got overconfident. You'll have to forgive me. You'll have to forgive me, Nerd Castle. I got overconfident when it came to the tower, and now I feel like I can build anything, and I don't think that's even remotely true. We'll see what happens once I slap the roof onto the whole thing and I start putting in straw in certain locations, because we have the support run up to the top. If I could put in, like, a thatched roof around it, I think it might look okay, but I'll put... Why are you getting up in my face, dude? Why are you getting... You want to go there, homie? You want to... You want to go there? We'll go there. The king will throw hands. This is Colony Survival. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.